What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. We have new videos each week. Today, we are excited to take you on our journey for finding the perfect tool for making detailed, durable, beautiful designs and patterns for our door hangers. We have found the Pro Color VF13 Pro UV DTF printer. This printer is compact, affordable, and super versatile. I feel like since our first door hanger, we've been on a quest. We started off by making our door hangers using Home Depot project rounds and vinyl that we cut on the Cricut. And while those were great, and I was super excited to make those in the beginning, we immediately wanted more. So we leveled up. We invested in the laser and we were able to level up our game and start making 3D door hangers. And those were even better and they were great and they were 3D and they had more dimension to them and they really gave you that pop we were looking for. We, we get so many compliments on our door hangers at craft shows. People come by and say, I love these door hangers. We haven't seen door hangers with this much dimension and detail before. They're so cool, but I want to add more. I'm still looking for vibrant patterns and textures to add to our door hangers. And so our quest for patterns and textures begins. <laughs> our hero's journey starts with Mod Podge and paper. The process is pretty easy. You slap some Mod Podge down, you put some craft paper on there, and you slap some Mod Podge on there. There's plenty of patterns to choose from, especially if you come from a scrapbooking background. That's right, I've been scrapbooking for a long time and I have so many pattern papers out there and that is exactly the look I was going for. But we found they weren't durable for outdoors. The rain and sun exposure quickly damaged the door hangers. So they weren't gonna be our perfect solution, but they looked great. Next on our journey was sublimation. Now sublimation was a super easy process. You just print it out and then you use heat transfer to put it on your material. The problem is the heat transfer time is up to five minutes. So that was warping our boards and this faded over time. This was in the window and the uh, the sublimation part kind of faded over the last year or so. And it requires a special type of wood. So you know we use MDF to create our door hangers, but this required a whiteboard backer. There was a couple of different options that you could choose from, but that wasn't as affordable as the MDF that we're using. So it added an extra layer of cost and the warping was an issue over time. Which led us to DTF or direct to film printing. Again, this is a super easy process. It involves a printer and it just had a, a lot shorter transfer time for getting the image on the material. It was only 10 seconds, but it was still warping the boards. And the images are beautiful. We did these as a project a couple of years ago, and you can see that the images are still super vibrant and they look great. All right, this is what the, the sublimation looks like now. And the DTF, these were done at similar times. The sublimation is really faded. Now these, this process is also what we use to make our t-shirts. And we know that these t-shirts can be washed and dried, so they're gonna be great in the heat for long term. So if this was hanging on your door, I think the DTF transfer will work out great. The problem with it is it does require heat to add the transfer onto the MDF. And we were still experiencing warping with the MDF. So long term, we found that this wasn't gonna be the perfect solution either. Knowing that heat is our enemy, our pattern quest took us to screen printing. Our business neighbor next door owns a t-shirt company and they have large t-shirt presses. So we thought we would break up our designs into a couple of screens, put it on a large machine and just go ahead and do screen printing. And we would use screens to make our pattern backers. And the first one looked great. But as you know, we use our Foxy Hughes outdoor acrylic paint. This paint is gonna resist that UV, fading, it's gonna be weather resistant, it's gonna be great for hanging these door hangers outside in the rain. And it also you... has quick dry. <laughs> it does dry quickly, and there was our problem with the screens. As we ran through, by the time you moved and put your board down for the next print, the paint was already drying and clogging up the screens. So that was not gonna be our repeatable process. And that was so messy. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our latest stop on our journey for patterns was foiling. Now this gave us the look that we were looking for. It was an easy process and it looked amazing. But it did add a little more time and a lot more cost. 
Now we want this to be a repeatable process and we want to be able to make these on lots of hangers and take them to craft shows in multiples. So the extra time and the added cost made this not the perfect option for our craft show designs. But it is a great option for one or two if you want to make them for yourself as a decorative hanger. I think they're going to be great. You're going to put the coating over the top and I think they're going to be fine on the front door long term. We haven't been using them long enough to really test that out, but it does say that the coating on top is pretty durable. Tough coat. Yeah, a little tough coat on top. So if that's not going to be our perfect solution, we're going to continue our journey to where we are today. After so much trial and error, we finally found the Pro Colored VF13 Pro UV DTF printer. It checks off all of our boxes for the requirements for our door hangers. UV DTF printing is ultraviolet ink printed directly to transfer film and flash cured using ultraviolet lights. Now this is an easy two-in-one printer. It prints and puts it onto the transfer film all at one time. And it's an easy three-step application process. Cut, stick, and peel. And it's great for virtually any hard surface. So curved, flat, on wood, metal, plastic, acrylic, virtually any hard surface, this is gonna be great for. It's weather resistant, UV resistant. We're super excited about this. The Pro Colored VF13 Pro comes with a dual XP600 print heads. It has CMYK plus white plus varnish. It's got a print resolution of 720 by 1440 DPI. Now using UV inks, they cure instantly. They're scratch resistant, weather resistant, UV resistant. They really check all of our boxes. And the best part is it doesn't require any heat to do the transfers. So it's a simple peel and stick process. You're gonna give it a little rub and it's gonna to stick to virtually any hard surface. And with these transfers, I can do this in any room at any time. I don't have to be near special equipment like the heat press. Now with its compact size of only about 30 inches wide, 28 inches deep and 14 inches tall, this will really fit anywhere. It's perfect for any craft room. So our journey has brought us to our first project. And the first project we decided to tackle was a popular project from last year. It's our Christmas countdown calendar. Now we love this calendar and it was super popular, but it was not a repeatable process. There were so many different colored, tiny pieces that it just wasn't feasible to repeat those for craft shows. So we shrank it to make it even harder. Actually, it's going to be easier. So we've made it smaller to fit into a desktop laser so that anyone can make this one. And all of the details will be printed using the DTF printer. The Pro Colored software that came with the printer is super easy to use. You're just gonna load your image right into the Pro Colored software, click rip, and it will automatically add the white backer and the varnish on top of your image. The VF13 Pro has a print size of 11.8 inches wide by pretty much infinity and supports file types of all common raster image formats, JPEG, PNG, BMP, and TIFF, as well as vector formats, EPS, and PDF. Now we're gonna take some eighth inch MDF and some quarter inch MDF over to our Xtool P2S and we're gonna cut out our new design. We often get questions about how we use our lasers indoor without access to outdoor ventilation. Here you see we're using the Xtool Safety Pro AP2 air purifier. It also boosts an auto on off sensoring feature. So when your machine turns on, the auto filtration system automatically turns on and begins filtering the particles from the laser. Our design's all cut. We did some pre-painting and a little bit of pre-assembly. So we're ready for the transfers. So the pre-painting only consisted of painting the backer, painting the ring, and the words, days until Christmas. Everything else will be applied using these DTF transfers. We have our presence, which will apply the DTF transfers to the eighth inch MDF presence. Our people are the little elves. Cute little elves. Our Christmas tree. And our little window that displays the day. We're just gonna cut each of these items out, peel off the backer, and stick them to our pieces. We're gonna apply our transfers, we're gonna rub it down with our little squeegee, and then we'll peel up the transfer film. So we've done our cut, we've cut out each little piece, so we have all of our little present pieces, we have our tree piece. Now we're gonna peel it and stick peel it. Peel it, stick it, rub it, and tug it. 
Okay. Ooh, you're doing the stickins? No, you're gonna do oh, it. I'm doing I it. was just peeling for you because I got excited. Oh, thanks. You got this. We're gonna apply this directly to the MDF. No pre-treatment, just laying this sucker down. And what we found with these transfers is just give it a good rub until the transfer is actually adhering to the hard surface and not adhering to the overlay or the cover sheet. You'll feel it, it'll, the cover sheet or the transfer film will start to get loose on the design. You'll feel it release. And then you can peel it right up. If it starts to peel up with the transfer sheet, just stick it back down, rub it a little bit more. Brings me back to the cricket days. Yeah, it does. You know what, this is like doing it on the Cricut or using with vinyl, except you get the detail. The tree is down. Ooh, that looks good for uh, not having to paint that myself. All right, I think it's gonna be the little guys that's the hard part. All right, well, let's start with the next big surface, right, presence. presence. Look, it's a puzzle piece, so it totally fits inside any laser. And this piece still moves. Look at that. The countdown calendar came out great. I'm impressed. I also threw a sticker up on one of these uh, stainless steel tumblers. Uh, this thing is great. I have so many ideas now. The details, I'm really impressed on how detailed this machine can get. If you haven't seen this little um, bear right here, he gets super detailed. You can even see what's on his sleeve. You can see all of his little hair. This thing is detailed, I'm impressed. Yeah, I don't know if we mentioned it earlier. It does print at 720 by 1440 DPI. So it does have a really nice image, especially for any of these types of projects. And this printer isn't just for us. Whether you're a hobbyist, you have a side hustle or a small business owner, the Pro Colored VF13 Pro is gonna be great addition to your business to add things like custom decals and stickers, personalized gifts, home decor items. I think it does so many different things and I'm super excited to add it to our business. It comes with a full set of inks, CMYK plus white plus varnish and the Pro Colored Rip software. And also supports white ink circulation, which isn't just white ink stirring, but actually circulates the white ink. It also, when left on, has an auto clean feature, will auto clean the heads every 10 hours, and also has a cutter to support perfect edges when your print completes. It's been quite a journey, but I think we've found our Excalibur. It's the UV DTF printer, and I'm really excited about where this printer is going to take us. It's going to take us to places that we really wanted to go. Things like being able to offer this countdown calendar as a kit and including the transfer with the kit so people don't have to paint the little elves and everything. And last but not least, how much does it cost? For under $6,000, you can get the printer itself, add in the stand for $6,500, and it's a great addition to your business. Right now, the Black Friday deals are going on, and you'll save yourself additional money for the holiday season. If you're interested in purchasing the Pro Colored VF13 Pro UV DTF printer, you can use our affiliate link below. We'll earn a small commission, and you can use our coupon code to save a little extra. And a big thank you to Pro Colored for sending us this printer and having us try this printer out. It's amazing and I'm super excited to share it with you. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. That is the best way to support this channel. The community over there is top notch. We love you guys. And we are about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And I'm just gonna balance the oh whole my gosh. thing. Sign and all. Oh, and we're in. We're in. Oh, well, while you're there Whoa. balancing, flip it around. We forgot to oh, show you. Yeah. Look, it's a puzzle piece, so it totally fits inside any laser. And this piece still moves. Look at that. So begins our quest for patterns and textures. 
Our hero's journey starts with Mod Podge. And so begins our quest for the perf... For now, what? So our quest for a bat... <clears throat> so our quest for... So our quest for patterns and textures begins. And so our quest for patterns and textures begins. I was looking down, I'm sorry.